As we move on, you can see now that I'm adding three more, I'm adding three fractions together instead of just two. So the steps stay the same. Factor what can factor? This cannot factor. This can factor into two times x plus two. You can pull out a GCF. If you don't pull out your GCF, you're really gonna have a hard time with this problem. On this one, you can pull out an x, so you get x plus two. Now we move on to find our common denominator. Our common denominator is made up of the first x plus two. We bring this over. Now what does this one add? It adds a two, right? Good. Now what does this one add that we don't have? An x. So I bring it over. Now what I need to do is figure out what is missing. This particular one, if we compare, this one is missing a 2 and an x. I'm writing missing. This one is missing a 2x from over here. Now let's move on. What are these missing compared to here? An x. What is this one missing? A 2. <coughs> now what we're going to do is we're going to put all of those things together. And I'm, you can do this quicker than I am, but I will take as many steps as needs be. So this is 2x times x plus x times 1 minus 3 times 2. Now we'll multiply and add. That is going to equal 2x squared plus 1x minus 6. All over, I'm going to make the bottom a little better and bring the 2x out in front and the x plus 2 in the back. Now what I need to do is I need to factor the top if at all possible. Let's see. This is going to factor to 2x and x and 3 and 2. Now, if you don't believe me, we're going to foil it back to, you can foil it back together to prove it. I want this, this x to be an x plus 2 and this one to be a minus 3. Now, how do I know that works? Because that's a positive 4 and a minus 3. On the bottom, we get 2x and x plus 2. Now, this is the first time this happens. Do you see how we can cancel top and bottom? And we're left with 2x minus 3 over 2x. Moving on. <coughs> this one is factored, x plus 1. This is factored, x minus 6. This is not factored. Now, if you're smart, you might use the other two to help you. You should notice that this can factor into x minus 6 and x plus 1. Now we'll bring over the first denominator, x plus 1. We'll bring over the second denominator, x minus 6. And these are already over here. So I'm not going to bring them over again. Now we need to figure out what's missing. This 1, the bottom, is going to need an x minus 6. So so will the top. This x minus 6 needs an x plus 1, and this 5x minus 2 doesn't need anything. Moving on, I bring over my 1, parenthesis, x minus 6, and then my plus sign. I bring over my x, parenthesis, x plus 1. Now you see this plus sign, or this minus sign here, watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to change this to a plus, and I'm going to make change those two signs to a minus 5x and a plus 2. I like to do that so I don't have to wor worry about addition or subtraction now. So I got plus negative 5x plus 2 now, because I distributed my subtraction sign. Now we'll multiply the top together. That's going to give me 1x minus 6 plus x squared plus x minus 5x plus 2 
over my common denominator of x plus 1, x minus 6. Combine your like terms in the numerator and put them in order. That's x squared. Now let's see how many x's we have. 1, 2, minus 5 is minus 3x. Now let's do our constants. Negative 6 and 2 is minus 4 over x plus 1, x minus 6. Factor the top. That should become x plus 1, x minus 4. We've got to know how to factor here. The bottom is x plus 1, x minus 6. You should notice how top and bottom cancel, and you're left with x minus 4 over x minus 6. Moving on, <coughs> notice that this one does not factor, so you leave it alone. This denominator does not factor, so you leave it alone. This denominator does factor, and it factors to x minus 2 and 2x plus 3. Check it out, you get negative 4 in the middle, positive 3 in the outsides, and negative 4 and positive 3 is negative 1x, which is what you need. So I can draw a line through that. Get your common denominator. Your common denominator is x minus 2 and 2x plus 3. Now what we need to do is we need to figure out what's missing. This x plus 1 only has an x minus 2 in the denominator, which means it needs a 2x plus a 3. This 5 is missing the x minus 2 in the denominator. And this 3x minus 13 isn't missing anything. Now I'm going to bring everything over. I'll bring over my original x plus 1 and my 2x plus 3 that was missing. Minus 5 times x minus 2, because that's what it was missing. Plus 3x minus 13. Now what we need to do here is... For lack of a better word, you need to FOIL there. Right? So I get 2x squared plus 3x plus 2x plus 3. Minus, distribute here, 5x plus 10. Carry down 3x minus 13 all over x minus 2 2x plus 3. Now I need to combine my like terms. 2x squared, let's count all of the x's. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, those cancel. Positive 3x is left over. Now let's do the constants. 3 plus 10 is 13, minus 13 is nothing. So I don't even need to make that line as long. <coughs> Over x minus 2, 2x plus 3. Factor the top if you can. In this case, we can pull out an x. You get 2x plus 3. Over x minus 2, 2x plus 3. The 2x plus 3's cancel out, and you're left with x over x minus 2. Moving on. Notice in this problem it's different because all of these are all monomials. Because they're all monomials, you don't have to factor. That's good news, right? So your common denominator, okay? Common denominator. What's the biggest number? Eight, right? Well, let's think of multiples of eight. Um, eight, no, six doesn't go into eight. Move on. Sixteen, no, six doesn't go into sixteen. Twenty-four, 
Yes, your common denominator is 24 for the coefficient because 6, 6, 2, and 8 go into 24. Okay? Now, how many a's do I need? From the first fraction, I need a squared. All right, well, that's as much as the second one has. From the third fraction, I can see that I'm going to need at least two b's because that's how many the smallest is, okay? It's called your, <coughs> excuse me, your greatest com, your least common multiple. All right, now what we need to do is find out what is missing. How does 6 become a 24? By multiplying by 4, right? Because 6 times 4 is 24. Am I missing any a's? No, but I am missing b squared. How does 2 become a 24? 12. How does a become an a squared? a. How does b become a b squared? b. Now moving on to 3. How does 8 become 24? A 3. How does, well, I need a squared. I don't have any, do I? And what about the b squared? They're both there. So now I move on and I write 1 times 4b squared minus 1 times 12ab plus 3 times 3a squared. What we need to do now is multiply and then we'll add together. That's 4b squared minus 12ab plus 9a squared. That's your new numerator. Denominator, 24a squared, b squared. The numerator, we're not even going to bother factoring with it since the bottom sib, since the bottom is a monomial, we're not going to even to bother to factor. Write that down. Since the bottom, or since the denominator, is a monomial, we will not factor. I'm going to write, we will not try to factor. <coughs> that means that's your final answer. Let's do one more. Um, Possibly two more. We'll see how we do on the videos. And then we can finish some things up in class, okay? On this problem right here, we need to factor the bottom left. The bottom left factors to x plus 3 and x minus 2. The bottom right factors to x minus 1, x minus 2. Now that you've factored, be very careful with finding your common denominator the needs both from the first fraction, always. So I brought my x plus 3 over, I brought my x minus 2 over, now the only thing the second one adds is an additional x minus 1. Don't carry over an extra x minus 2, it's already there. Now we need to figure out what's missing. These two are missing an x minus 1. These two are missing an x plus 3. Now move over. This becomes 3 times x minus 1. This is a minus 2 times x plus 3. Now we need to distribute. This becomes 3x minus 3. This becomes minus 2x minus 6, and the denominator stays with the three factors that we found. In the numerator, combine your like terms. So you get 3x minus 2x is x, minus 9 because of negative 3 and negative 6. The denominator stays. and you're all done with this problem. We're going to do maybe one or two more on one more video, and then we'll talk about the rest when you come back to class.